Behind my hiding oak, I watch him break his sparring off with deadfall swords to crouch upon the mossy mound as if to wake that shriveled browning husk, a slant and couched inside the ditch. Alone on New Year's Day, I dragged it while he napped, its needles cast along the zigzag bramble trail I made to rid us of the mess. Tinsel blasted mercurial in January sun. The boy king reaches for it now to run his fingers through its drooping, tendrilled harp. I cannot hear the threnody he sings that sour sobs his face before he darts into the grave to hug its brittle sting. I've been writing poems since I was 12 years old, and I had an incredible sixth grade teacher who gave us an exercise in class and said, write a poem on whatever you want. And I remember thinking everybody else in the room saw this as a chore. And for me, I thought, I can't believe he just gave me permission to do that. And I really think that a lot of my writing has come from that place, that somebody has said, you have a voice, why not use it? Poetry to me is, is a way to do a lot of things at once, to celebrate the music of the English language, to find the right words for hard things. I've written three books. I'm working on a lot of new poems now. I'm writing a lot about the natural world. I love to be in that place of something's coming to me and I'm, I'm, I'm sort of, the, the words are coming faster than I can write them. That place is, is why I, I make poems. Going to Lebanon Valley was the beginning of me finding myself, a sense of belonging, a sense of stimulation where the arts and ideas are constantly crackling. My wife, Anne, and I met as history majors at LVC, so not only did we get an education there, but we fell in love there, and we have three boys. I've been at Warwick Community College for 14 years, teaching here literature and writing and art history and all kinds of stuff. I think of a classroom as a very democratic place where maybe, yeah, I go in, I'm the guy at the front with the tie on, but ultimately, I'm just talking to other people. And I want to be a radio for the content. I want it to speak through me. I want to impart them that knowledge. Without LVC, I wouldn't have gone to graduate school. Without graduate school, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you and being a teacher. And I don't think I'd be a, the poet I am had I not gone to LVC either. So yeah, it all kind of circles back, doesn't it? The fact that LVC wants to honor me with this Creative Achievement Award, it's, it's humbling, it's, it's inspiring. But I also see it as a promise that I will continue to do what I've tried to do. And what I mean by that is, as the demands of life mount, I will continue to make the best poems I can. And, and I see, I see um, any award as an encouragement, as a gesture of encouragement. And I hope I can live up to that.